public service announcement. Squid Games paid Lee Jung Jae 3.1 mil in about six months of acting, going after his passion. How much did you make just watching it? How much did you make it your job? Okay, so in this video, we're gonna go over how much all of the actors were paid playing in Squid Game. We're gonna go over how long it took to film it exactly. And then we're gonna go over how much the movie in total Squid Game made in that short period of time because on Anti-Job University, we teach you to turn your passion into a way to cash in, okay? So you're gonna wanna watch this to the end because I want you to break out of the mindset of thinking you have to work hard your entire life to make a lot of money. What if in just six months, your passion can cash in for you? So watch this in the end, okay? So we're gonna first go over here to where Lee Jung Jae was reportedly paid 3.1 mil for Squid Game. And yes, that is in US currency. So how much his co-stars made from the show as well, okay? Now, so if you watched it, look, we have to stop just being watchers. We have to be participants in success, okay? I want you guys to sit down and write down what it is you want to do for a living, and I'm going to help you with that, okay? Now, I can't guarantee that you're going to make $3.1 million or something, but guess what? You don't have to have a nine-to-five job. Look at this. South Korean Netflix drama Squid Game is undoubtedly the biggest show right now. We can't go a day without reading or hearing about it. Yes, that is true. And it's mainly with this dude right here, Lee Jung Jae. All right, thanks to his elaborate sets, not to mention large number of extras, the nine episode series reportedly costs a staggering 20 billion won, about 22.9 million to produce. Yo, that's a lot of money, but guess what? It was their dream. They wrote this out all the way back in the day. They just wanted to make sure people were ready to see the type of violence. And nowadays with y'all, yeah. Okay. So how much was the cast paid? All right. How much the cast was paid has also come under the spotlight. Okay. Lee Jung Jae, who uh, stars as Song, <laughs> I forgot how to say his name, but he's the last player, player 456, has seen his fortunes rise along with his popularity. The star, or the actor who was already a household name in South Korea before starring in Squid Game is speculated to have earned 300 million won. So that's their currency, which is about uh, 344,000 USD per episode. Like that's more than most American actors and actresses make in the most popular shows, guys. Like they knew that this was gonna be big, okay? So that's about 3.1 mil. So listen, he was already an actor and everything, but let's say that this was his uh, first film or first show because some of the actors and actresses, this was their first show, man. All right, so uh, Jung Jae, the second highest paid Korean actor surpassing uh, 180 million won, that's 205.9K uh, received for each episode. Look, that's crazy, man. That's crazy. Then it got his cousin of the show. I think that's his cousin, right? But anyway, we'll come back to the people getting paid, how much they get paid. Now let's see where and uh, let's see, when was it? Okay, how long did it take to get filmed? Okay, so it was only 2019 that Netflix took interest in the project, which was originally titled Round Six, okay? Because it's like six games in there, okay? All right, the casting for Squid Game was finalized in June, 2020. All right, so this is what I'm talking about, yo. So the 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 idea for a uh, Squid Game is old, like around 2008 or something like that. But they didn't start filming until around 2020 something, and you know what happened during 2020. So probably like in three to six months they closed this out or whatever because they had to go for approval. Okay, and then they found a location and everything. So he only had to prep three to six months or, you know, whatever it took for the casting. And then he got paid, man. He got paid crazy money, right? 3.1 mil just to go after your dream. This is what we talk about on anti job university channel guys you can turn your passion into a way that you can build a business and cash in or go after your dream no matter what it is you can text the number in the description man and we will teach you how to turn your passion into a cash in all right so now look how much has squid game in total made the movie itself made since it's uh released on netflix so we're going to stroll down squid game is fast becoming 
uh, the big, one of the biggest shows ever released on Netflix. Yo, y'all remember when Luke Cage broke Netflix, though? I think they had to, like, upgrade their servers and all that extra stuff because of Luke Cage. But, yo, everybody is talking about Games, okay? So it was released September uh, 17th. That's, it took me a while to watch it, man. I'm, I'm super late, y'all. All right, but how much money has Squid Game made so far and how many times has it hit the series? Uh, has the hit series been streamed on Netflix? Okay, so we're going to stroll down. How much money has Squid Game made? It has currently not been confirmed how much revenue Squid Game has made. So nobody has the exact amount, but we did see how much it costs to produce and we did see how much they're paying their actors. We still got to get over there to the other page and see the other actors. We only see the main actor. All right. But it says uh, likely that the global hit will rake in millions of revenue from, for the streaming property. Okay. So Netflix works a little different, y'all. You know what I'm saying? So let's get back over there to the other actors and actresses. All right. So in first place is okay to be, to not be okay star Kim so Hoon. I think that's how you pronounce it. Reportedly raked in, sorry guys. All right, raked in 500 million won, which is 520, uh, 572K per episode. Damn, okay. So yeah, man. So this is, damn. So he made a little bit more than uh, the, the main star. Okay, so I guess. I, but anyway, so then we come down here to Sung Woo. Uh, the girl right here, you know what I'm saying? Or Hasa, I, I forgot how to say her damn name. I'm sorry, y'all. But anyway, she ain't make as much as the two leaders, uh, the, you know, the two main stars, but she still made a lot, way more than a nine to five job, whatever she was doing before she hopped into this, guys. And all it took was a little bit of acting classes and studying and role playing and doing all that extra stuff and having a passion and a dream. Then we have the uh, the Indian star right here and everything like that. So look, these my point is they went after their passion. They didn't stay afraid to leave. They didn't just have a secret uh, hobby or something while they're at work. Everybody knows that they can sing because when they go on break, they can see the echoes or hear the echoes in the bathroom and all of that. They didn't just keep it to themselves. They shared their gift with the world, which is what you're supposed to be doing, man. All right, so take this as a lesson. If you're new to the channel, do a Jet Li sidekick to the like button. I want you to turn your passion into a way for you to cash in by building some type of business or such. You can text the number in the description of this video, text passion to the number, and we'll get on a call, a consultation, and we'll show you how to turn your passion into a way to cash in the same way we have, way, uh, the same way we built businesses and help our students and clients build businesses as well. We can do that with you as well, okay? Go to the link and we'll see you in the next one.